Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, so today I'm repotting my white bird a paradise plant. It's still in the original nursery pot, and um, I've been noticing some signs that lead me to believe it needs to be repotted, such as browning and um, drooping on the leaves. And I've been wanting to repot it anyway. So this pot you see here, this terracotta, had a different plant in it that I actually um, had just repotted into it in an attempt to save. But I guess got fed up with it, so I tossed it out. And um, like I said, I just had potted it, so this soil is still fine. So I'm just mixing it in because I'm going to reuse it. And then I'm going to put the bird of paradise into the terracotta pot. Now, I am getting used to um, filming using the potting stand. This is my first video of, um, using my potting stand, so I'm working on the angle so that you can see what I'm doing best. So basically, I'm going to remove all the soil from the bird of paradise and um i just put it into a plastic bag so it's easier for me to get rid of it um this soil wasn't that great sometimes i get soils from the stores and they have um or i get plants from the stores rather and they have a good soil mix but this one did not so i just wanted to get rid of all the soil So here you can see the amount of root compared to the size pot that it was in. So that could be uh, what was leading to some of the issues as well. There you see I'm checking to for root rot. Um, signs of root rot would be black roots and um, mushiness. So that's why I'm checking to see if the roots are firm. I want to get all that old soil off of there. So that's what you see me doing here. Just making sure I get it all picked off so that there is nothing left Um stuck into the roots because I want it in all fresh soil. Now that I have um, everything cleared away and all the old soil out, I'm going to start to um, get the pot ready. Now you're going to put um, a couple inches of soil at the bottom of the pot before you set the plant in. And here you can see I'm making sure I have enough soil at the bottom so that the plant is sitting at the height that it needs to and that it's not too deep down in the pot because you, um, you don't want your plant too far down into the pot so that's what i'm doing here and then i'm going to start filling in the rest with the soil here and 
pretty much um, what I do with the soil. I just buy uh, potting soil and I add extra perlite and um, orchid bark as well. And I just mix that in and that's what I use for all my plants and it does really well. So after I fill this up here, um, you're gonna see how I adjust the plant to make sure it is in place the way I want it. So here you can see I'm actually dumping it out. It wasn't uh, positioned in there properly. That happens sometimes. I don't. I put too much or not enough soil at the bottom. So I didn't like how it was looking. So I just took it out. This is the time to to make those adjustments when you're already in the process anyway. So I knew it would bother me later. So I just dumped it right back out. And now I'm going to set it in place where I want it and refill the pot. just uh, patting the soil making sure everything is firmly in place and then I'm going to actually reinsert the terracotta water spike into it because I was using that method when it was in the nursery pot and um, the plant responded well to it this water that I'm pouring out of here is the water that was in the spike in the previous pot so I'm just using it to wet it down I like to water my plants after I pot them just to help the roots um, branch out and get settled into the soil some so after I reinsert the terracotta spike right here that you see you just push it down in close to the base of the plant but you want to be careful you don't want to put it too close because you don't want to damage the stem of your plant but this basically allows uh, the plant to self water um, this is good for plants that will have somewhat of a frequent frequent watering cycle and the terracotta is absorbent as well. So I'm not worried about it being overwatered because I did have that issue when I used this method um, in the ponytail palm that you can see right over there. So now that that's in place, I'm happy with how the plant looks 
and I'm just gonna go ahead and set it back in the spot. Here I have some um, golden pothos vines that I had in the base of a different plant. And so I decided to put them in here because I like the look of, um, you know, something trailing at the bottom of my taller plants. So I'm just pushing those uh, down into the soil. And that's about it for this one. I will note now um, that I'm editing, I've since lost a leaf that tall middle leaf that you can see that's torn on the sides i did end up losing that leaf i was messing with it because it looked droopy and i was um feeling the stem to make sure it was firm and i just pushed and it, it just smashed so that leaf had to be removed but now the plant is doing well and it's bounced back so i just want you guys to note that a bird of paradise is one of the plants that can go through shock from being repotted especially since i pulled everything completely apart on the root ball so don't be too shocked if you notice some droopiness for a couple of days after you repot repotted it just put it back in this nice bright spot and it'll bounce right back for you so here is the end result i hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you for watching